Life is unexpected. Sometimes it can really shit in your face. You just go through and try not to fuck up too badly. It isn't always bad though. It can be wonderful, filled with beauty and joy. For me, that was, that was Josie. Josie. We've been friends for a long time, ever since I moved here. I knew we were just friends. In fact, I could confirm it. That barista's really good looking. I should get myself a coffee. So yeah, the whole time. There was something about her. Only it was that all the other voices would just seem to fade away. I see you're writing again. That's good. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, um, it's going okay, but uh, it's a bit hard. You don't know what to write about, you know? Yeah. No, tell me about it. I'm still trying to decide what to paint for my final piece. Still. I'm clueless. Really? Man, I'm so full. <laughs> the big meal. It's you... bigger than mine. <laughs> Seriously, Josie, you need to figure out what you're going to paint for this final piece decide. or else you're going to fail. Oh my god, that wrist is looking at me again. Be cool, Josie. Don't be a loser. Oh, shit, he's looking at me. I'm such an idiot. But every time I listened in, it was never me she was thinking about. I guess I just wasn't listening at the right time. When Josie and I finally got together, I vowed never to listen to her thoughts again. You see, people aren't meant to hear other people's so thoughts. Dick, he still hasn't texted me back. Fuck's your problem. There is a reason we filter what we say. And when you're always exposed to the unfiltered mind, after a while, you start to lose your faith in humanity. So I've learned how to control it, how to shut it off. But the temptation is always there. You have to clean it all the way. Oh. If you only knew what I was going to do Look to you. Look at that badass. I'm going to fuck you so bad. I can't wait to stick it in. Hey, hey Ellie. I had to know if she was thinking about him. Everything all right? Yeah. How was work? Oh, work. I had the worst day today. Chef was all over the place. I had customers complaining all day. Plus, Emily was 30 minutes late again. Actually, something interesting did happen today. Craig said that he would hang up some of my art in the cafe. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah, that's great. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. I just think he has a thing for you, that's all. Oh, Johnny. I love how you always go straight for he must have a thing for me. Because it can't possibly have anything to do with the quality of my art. No, it's not like that. Look, I love your art, but I just know he likes you, that's all. Oh, you know, do you? Yeah. And how is it you always just know? Well, because it's fucking obvious! Johnny, I'm getting really tired of all your jealousy. Every single guy I talk to you have a problem with. It's exhausting. Craig is my boss, he's a professional. He doesn't have a thing for me. No, he does. Believe me. How could you possibly know that? You always do this. You make me so angry. Me? I make you yeah, angry? You, you're the one Really? Who... Yes, all the fun. You don't get time. really, really sick of. You always, always undermine me. No, I never do that. Yes, you do. Well, you're mad. It's not like I get angry at every girl that walks past that you look at. That night, we got into the biggest fight. I guess it had been building up for a while. Josie left the next day. After she left, I felt numb. No motivation. Nothing. I just lay there. And the more I thought about it, the more I decided 
that it was about time I put my special ability to some good use. I had scoped out that bank for days. Wrote down all the alarm codes as they ran through people's minds. Walk in, walk out. Simple. Didn't really go to plan. Four hours I was stuck in that room. He just kept asking me the same question over and over. How do I get the alarm codes? How? How? So I told him. I can read minds. Well, it's true. Oh, please, you've got to believe me. Look, I've been scoping out that bank for weeks. I'd sit in my car and I'd write down the numbers that the bank people would put into the alarm. Please, come on, you've got to believe me. You need some help, man. At least it's better than prison. Johnny, Johnny! <laughs> What number am I thinking, man? Come on, no. What number am I thinking? It's three, Steve. Fuck! Oh, Woo! Yes! Oh, bloody mind reader, man. You hear that? It's a bloody mind reader. He says it every time. I can't believe it. He does it every time, man. It was surprising the piece I had found in here. But no matter what I did, I still couldn't stop thinking about Josie. You know, where was she? What was she doing? Johnny, there's someone here to see you. Johnny, I just couldn't believe when I heard. What the fuck are you doing in here? I don't know. I don't know, to be honest. I, I, I was stupid. I don't know what I was doing. No, I mean, what, what are you doing here? Um. I should have told you. You know, right from the start, the moment we first got together. I should have told you and I didn't, and I'm sorry. <clears throat> I can read minds. Johnny. It's true. I really hope you get better soon. No, wait, wait, wait. Look, just, just let me prove it to you. Just take a seat. Okay, all right. Right now, uh, you're thinking, I'm crazy. Okay, all right, um, think, think of a, 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 a colour, a number, anything, and I'll guess it. Josie, you know me better than anyone. How I had all those headaches and how I seem to know everything. It's because I've got this, this, this gift. Please, Josie, you've got to believe me. Hi, Johnny. Life is unexpected. Sometimes it can really shit in other people's faces. Hey, Josie. How's it going? Hey. Yeah, not too bad. It's been pretty quiet. There wasn't much of a lunch rush. Yeah? How are you going? Yeah, fine. Because, uh, I heard about what happened with Johnny. You can make me one of those as well. Listen, so I've given you this Friday night off. That's okay. I'm happy to work on Friday. Oh, well, I've given the shift to Emily, so... But seeing as you have the night off, I was thinking that we get some dinner, maybe some drinks, go back to my place. What do you say? Sorry, are you asking me out? Yeah, yeah. And no, sorry, Craig. So why is that? You're my boss. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I am your boss, so you can come and have a drink with me. No, really, I just don't think it's a really good idea. Oh, come on. I mean, I put your paintings on the wall, didn't I? 
You owe me. I don't owe you shit! After Craig needed skin grafts, he decided to press charges against Josie. Okay, bills out because you're here, so you're here. What number am I thinking? Go! Five. <laughs> yeah. She decided to plead insanity. What about me? What am I thinking? Let me see. Show me everything you have in the mail And I'll show you everything that I've done Some people call me crazy cause I'll take it too lazy But it's just a bunch of habits If you need someone to come around Babe, I won't let you down If you need someone to help you out Babe, I won't let you 